I'm back guys good afternoon it is a whopping 92 degrees out here in zone 8a today it's a nice little breeze blowing but it is humid omg so i as i promised i am going to harvest my kohlrabi and we're going to do um a little cooking this afternoon um so let's get to it because it's pretty warm out here all right so i am going to take this little one right here on the corner this is going to be my first one i'm going to take out of here so let's see if we can film with one hand and pluck this one up out of the ground with the other all righty it's got some serious roots on it i'm sure ah yes it does I'm going to take the leaves along with the two because I've just decided I'm just going to uh, saute them up and um, with some mushroom and onion and use them also as a vegetable for today's dinner. So there we go. That is a huge kohlrabi. Yes, look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right. Let's shake some soil off of it, just off the roots of it, and we'll set that one aside. And let's see, I don't want another big one like that, but I do want another one. I think I'm going to go in and get this one right here. What do we have? Two. All right. And I'm just going to shake some of the soil off of that also. And take the leaves with me also. So there's the second one. Alrighty. So I am going to get these prepared so that you can see how to prepare it. It smells really good too. How to get it ready to cook. So let me find me a little spot over here. to put my kohlrabi down and there's mister bringing the other one hello thank you hello. sir all right so let me get all set up and I will show you how to get your kohlrabi ready to cook all right I'll be back We are now in the kitchen with our kohlrabi. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to take the leaves off. And pretty much what I'm just doing is just breaking them off like that. As I said, I'm going to use the leaves. I'm just going to um, saute them down with uh, some um, red onion and mushroom. Just treat them as just like a regular green for today. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna pluck all the leaves off. Back door. We're getting down to the heart. Which is this beauty right here. There she is. She's huge. All right, let's get the second one done. All right. All of the leaves are off of the kohlrabi now. Alrighty. Okay. And here we go. Last one. Alright. So that's our leaves that we'll use later on. And there's our 
second carafe. All right, let me get a cutting board. One thing that I did find out about the kohlrabi is that the outer layer is kind of tough. So you need you a good sharp knife. And what we're gonna do next is we are gonna peel the skin off of the kohlrabi. I'm just gonna break some of these stalks off of here. I won't use the stalks for anything in particular. So I'll just probably put those in the compost bin and uh, reuse them that way. All right, so we are all the way down to, there she is. All right, I do have a little bit of soil on my cutting board from where I broke off the roots. Remember the root that was on there? I just broke that off while I was outside. Okay, so, we're doing is cutting this that end piece off. Like I said, it's kind of a tough skin. So you gotta muster up some willpower and some strength here and get it cut down. And then you just see that it's just smooth right there. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna be cutting the sides off. So I'm trying to decide which way I'm gonna cut it, but I think I'm gonna cut it this way. And we're just pretty much well cutting that hard outer layer off of it. We're not going to cook with that. What we want is down inside that hard outer layer. So we're just going to go all the way around and cut that layer off. And what I decided I'm going to do with the karate today is um, I'm just going to roast it. So just something simple today. It smells very much like cabbage. Very, very, very much like cabbage. Once you start peeling that heart out of layer away, it smells very much like cabbage. Very, very, very much like cabbage. So, this is what we're cutting away. Like I said, it's a good idea to have a very sharp knife. It makes it much easier to cut when you have that sharp knife. Okay. So, see, she's starting to look a little smooth now. Got that green heart out of layer off of there. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this little piece. And now, just the bottom of it. Let's see. Some more right here. So, that's what she'll look like once you have cut away that hard outer layer. Okay, so I'm going to do the second one. This one's a little bigger. So it'll probably take me a little more time to get prepared. But let's get it done. I'm going to go ahead and get this one ready because then next I want to show you how I am going to prepare it. Like I said, I'm going to use a recipe today because I haven't cooked very much with the kohlrabi, so um, I'm going to be relying on recipes for it right now to see which way I like it the best. So getting ready to get this one all smooth like the first one. I'll be back. Second one done. There she is. All smooth and clear and ready. Okay, so my kohlrabi is all ready. And what I'm going to do for this particular recipe is just, I'm just going to be cubing it because like I said, I'm just going to be um, roasting the kohlrabi. So I'm just going to be cutting it into cubes. So here again, keep your sharp knife on hand. And just cut them. As you can see, it cuts rather nicely. That was that big one there. I had to put a little elbow into that one. But I'm 
I'm gonna cut them into long strips. And then I'm just gonna cube them. And just make sure that bottom that I use just to hold it together, I'm gonna cut that off now. I just use that so that um, when I went to cut it like this, everything would stay together. So you have, you do have to remove that part also. But I use, I left it on there for just a minute so that I can get my slices done. So now I'm just going to cut that bottom part off. That's where the root was attached. So we're just going to take that off now. So. You see how particularly easy it is to slice, and it smells wonderful, like really, really good smell. Reminds you very much of cabbage. Okay, I think I got one more piece here to cut. Yep, it's got a little piece on it. It's got a little green on it too. Just want to make sure you have that hard outer shell off of there also. That's got a little piece on there, and that one's got a little piece on it. You'll be able to see kind of the difference between the smooth and if you've left anything on there. So now I'm good to cube my kohlrabi. Try to keep them as uniform as possible. That way they'll cook at the same rate. So let's see how, uh, how accurately I can do this. Don't mind my knife cutting because really I, I, I'm not the best um, with a knife. I'm, I'm learning how to use a knife better. So this has got a little piece on it too. Let's cut that off. But like I said, you'll be able to see the little pieces that you're supposed to cut off. They're a little harder than the actual vegetable is. Got my cubes going on. So I'm just going to finish cubing these up and I'm going to gather the rest of the things that I need for this recipe. And I will be back. So there's my kohlrabi all cut up and ready to go. Okay, so according to the recipe that I'm using. Um, I am putting my oven 450. Alrighty. And then I have my kohlrabi all cut. And then I'm going to toss it with some olive oil, some salt, and a pinch of cayenne. And so I have to stir it every 10 minutes while it's in the oven. Um, so it takes about 30 minutes for this to cook and be nice and tender. But of course, you know, gauge that. Take a little fork um, and when you're stirring them, take a little fork and just prick into them and see if they are getting tender. But you want these to be tender and golden. Um, and then once they come out of the oven, I will be tossing them with some Parmesan and chopped parsley. So... That's what I'm going to be working on now. I'm just going to get my baking sheet, which I didn't get. All right. Got my baking sheet. And how I usually like to do my olive oil, if I'm tossing something in olive oil, is I just get just a bag. And I put my olive oil inside the bag. And whatever I'm tossing with that olive oil, I'll go ahead and put it in the bag. I feel like they, I get a better even coat when I do it this way, as opposed to maybe just like putting it on the baking sheet and um, trying to put the olive oil on it. I don't feel like I ever get an even coat. So this way, I feel like I'm getting an even coat. All right. So, kohlrabi in the bag. And really, if I want to, I can put my seasonings in here also, which that's probably what I'll do, and just toss everything together, and then it'll be ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to fix the kohlrabi today. 
I also got some swordfish. I'll probably just bake that today. Um, and um, then my sister is going to make um, a sauce for uh, just some pasta that we're going to do. So that's going to be lunch slash dinner for today. Um, but I got my kohlrabi in there. I'm going to add my, just add my seasonings in now. Just like a little pinch of salt. Add that in. And my pepper. Just add that all in there. Alright. I got all my ingredients in here together along with the seasonings. And I'm just going to cross it. Just work in the bag. I feel like I get a better even coat when I do it this way. And just throw the seasonings in there too. Makes sense. And just toss it all together. Now on my pan, I think I'm going to put a piece of foil. I did forget to get parchment paper. I like to have a piece of parchment paper on pan to keep my pan uh, a little clear. Um, and I'll bake on the parchment paper. But I'll just grab a piece of foil and line my, um, my pan. And I think this looks pretty even in the bag there. That's what we're looking at. You can see that there. Looks like it's pretty evenly coated. All right, I'm gonna move my cutting board out the way and put this knife off to the side. Olive oil. Okay, so now we're just working with our pan. Let me get a piece of foil. And just put this on my pan. Just like that. get a little more I don't think I think this is empty okay there's nothing else in there so let's put that to the side and just get a little bit of oil for our and actually I'm just going to use my coconut oil and just spray my foil and when my kohlrabi is not going to stick to the foil put a little bit of oil on that okay so all ready. I'm just going to slide them out the bag and make a single layer of them. Just spread them out. So every little piece has its own little space, its own little spot, and it'll be able to cook all the way through. So once my oven gets um, preheated and to its temperature of 450, I'm going to slide these into the oven. Um, I'll put my timer on for about 10 minutes and then I will stir them and I'll see how they're doing. And like I said, bake it up to about 30 minutes or when you stick a fork in it, it's nice and tender. Um, so that is it for the kohlrabi for today. Um, I will show you the finished product once it comes out of the oven. All right, be back. Finished product, kohlrabi. After I finished roasting it, I just put some Parmesan cheese on it, let it sit. And we got our pasta here with the vegan um, sauce that my sister made and my swordfish. So that is the completed dinner for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We will see you next time because it's time to eat. I am starving. Thank you for watching our videos. We'll see you soon.